Dear family of God, it's so good to be with you and to offer a book review on a book that has meant a lot to me over the last several years, and it's Ken Sandy's book called The Peacemaker, A Biblical Guide to Resolving Personal Conflict. Now, the book, as you know, is rooted in the foundation of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, if you've read this book before, you would know that. Uh, and yet, the 12 chapters are organized according to four other G's of biblical peacemaking. First, we are to glorify God. Secondly, we are to get the log out of our own eye, taking personal re responsibility. Third, we need to gently restore our brother or sister in Christ. And then finally, number four, to go and be reconciled. But let's start with this. The first G of biblical peacemaking is to glorify God. How can I please and honor God in any situation that I find myself in which um, there has been some sense of hostility? How can I imitate his grace uh, towards others? How can we bring honor to his name? How can we obey his commands? Uh, and how do we trust God? We realize that all conflict provides some sort of opportunities uh, to glorify the Lord. Also to live at peace with one another. A new commandment I give you, Jesus said, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, all men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. And then, of course, we know to trust in the Lord and to do good. For when we trust God, it frees us to respond to conflict, conflict bitter, biblically. So that's the first G in glorifying God. But then we also need to get the log out of our own eye, of course, quoting Jesus in Matthew chapter 7, where he tells us, first take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Here, uh, we ask ourselves the question, how can I show Jesus's work in me by taking responsibility for my contribution to a conflict that we're involved in? So we examine our attitudes, our heart, our minds. We evaluate any shortcomings and responsibilities that we have, knowing that conflict begins in our own heart. James chapter 4 verse 1, what causes fights and quarrels among you? Don't they come from your own desires that battle within you? Uh, we realize that in this sense of taking personal responsibility, that our confession brings great freedom. Uh, Proverbs 28 13, he who conceals his sin does not prosper, but whoever confesses and renounces uh, finds mercy. So first we glorify God, then we want to get the log out of our own eye. Then the third G is simply this, that we gently restore our brother and sister in Christ. We ask ourselves this question, how can I lovingly serve others by helping them take responsibility for their contribution to a conflict that may be before us? Well, of course, we are called in Galatians 6.1 to know that it's just between two people. Brothers, if someone is called in a sin, you who are spiritual re should restore him gently, but watch yourself, or you may also be tempted. Constructive correction is a sign of genuine love. Then we are also to speak the truth in love, Ephesians 4.15. Speak the truth in love so that we in all things will grow up in Jesus Christ, who is the head. Breathing grace rather than judgment brings about reconciliation. And of course, there are times where discipline is God's gift and blessing to the church where we may take others with us, according to Matthew 18, verses 16 and 17, so that the matter may be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. So again, as we think about conflict, this helpful book helps us, first of all, to glorify the Lord in our orientation, to look at ourselves, to get the log out of our own eye, then to think about what it means to gently restore our brother or sister in Christ, and then finally, the fourth G, to go and to be reconciled. We ask ourselves, how can I demonstrate the forgiveness of God and encourage a reasonable solution to this conflict? We are called here to replace hostility and separation with peace and reconciliation. I've always loved this, that our forgiveness shows that we think of God's forgiveness. We realize that from Philippians 2 verses 3 and 4, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. 
for each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also to the interest of others. We are to overcome evil with good. And of course, we need to know what it means to forgive one another. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Dear family of God, I would encourage you, if you've not done so already, to read this book, The Peacemaker, A Biblical Guide Resolving Personal Conflict by Ken Sandy, remembering that these four G's are rooted in the foundational G, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ. The fact that he gave his life so that you and I could be reconciled to our Father in heaven. To God be the glory. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your goodness to us in the gospel. We praise you for this call to be kind and considerate to one another, forgiving one another as Christ has indeed forgiven us. I pray that you would use this book as a possible tool to help us to forever keep before us what it means to be reconciled uh, before you and also with one another as we first yield to Jesus Christ and to his word. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Your family of God, may the Lord bless you and keep you this day and forevermore. Amen.